In the Tennessee Williams world, St. Louis is Mecca. Unquestionably, Tennessee Williams is one of America's greatest playwrights. He grew up here, and much of what he wrote and the genius that he came to display grew out of his experiences in St. Louis. He's tied to the city in, in a way that is, is sometimes perceived and quite rightly as being uncomfortable. Jill McGuire had, when she was with the Regional Arts Commission, we had talked about a play that I wanted to do that took place in St. Louis at Williams Road. I read it as a love letter to St. Louis, and I thought, wow, wouldn't it be cool if we could involve different arts organizations in the city? St. Louis Ballet, do a piece of it. Jazz St. Louis All-Stars recorded the original score, and it was just this beautiful, crazy, magical production. And from that, that was the seed that sort of was planted for the Tennessee Williams Festival. The major challenges facing a startup are money and the personnel to do the work. And when that is in short supply, say in year one or year two, the board really needs to step up. The Tennessee Williams Festival has one full-time visionary artistic director and a board that really works hard to ensure success. We have to look at how we fund this and how we maintain a really excellent quality. Without the support of A&E, who umbrellaed me and gave me an office and the Kranzberg Arts Foundation, the Regional Arts Commission, the Missouri Arts Council, the Missouri Humanities Council, and all the corporate and individual support we've gotten has just been essential to let this flourish. We're certainly growing, you know, now moving into the Grandel, getting the trust of the licensing agencies for the, for the material. You know, the first year, can I, can I do blah, 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 cat on a hot tin roof? No. Can I do <laughs> a streetcar named Desire? No. But now that we've proven ourselves, it used to take me two months to get permission to do a play. Now it takes about two hours. And we're becoming known um, around the country, which is good, because my goal is for people to come to St. Louis for this amazing festival every May. I think for the next generation, generations of artists, you really just have to have a strong dream and a strong constitution. Do not be afraid of hard work because that's something that is essential. Dreams are strong. Dreams are very um, strong. I feel like Tennessee Williams had that. He, he was met with a lot of adversity. And people who don't know Tennessee Williams think, oh, he wrote five plays. He wrote 250 plays, and they're all being unearthed, and it's just this, he wrote every day, and he never let his dream be stopped by naysayers. And that, I think, is one of the reasons why St. Louis is such a cool place to be, because you can have an idea, and it comes true. When there is no vision, the people perish. And if we don't support the dreams and the startups, then we begin to, I think, wither. And, and I, I don't think that's ever gonna happen in St. Louis. I'd like to thank the Arts and Education Council for this amazing honor and to all of our many supporters for making our dream a reality. Thank you.